This man butchered his wife to death and then went on to kill his four children, hitting them with a blunt object to their heads before cutting them into pieces. The little children were within the ages of 1 to 13 and after he finished wiping out his entire family, he reported himself to the police station and asked to be arrested. When they asked him why he did it, he did not say anything. But when the police did their investigation, what they discovered might just be so much worse than anything you can ever imagine. So this happened in Kenya just recently, on the 29th of November 2021. And so at this time, the story in itself is unfolding. And so we might be expecting new information to this story. But right now, this is what we know about the Kiriyanga murder case. The man who has been identified as 35 years old Paul Murage Njuki was said to have had some sort of disagreement with his wife Millicent in the evening of the 29th of November. It was said that during this argument, Paul stormed out of the house only to come back late at night when it was heavily raining to wipe out his entire family. Now, the nature of the argument that caused this man to kill his family is not particularly specific as the man himself has not exactly said why he did it. But the first batch of reports claimed that he had argued with his wife over onions in his food. Some neighbors said that they heard him complaining about not having enough onions in his food before they saw him storming out. But this doesn't exactly hold a lot of water if you ask me. I mean, who kills an entire family because of onions? Although that might be possible. However, there was this particular article that said that a neighbor whom Millicent had confided in before she died told the police that Paul was fond of sexually abusing their 13 years old daughter Nelly and that Millicent had confronted him about it and had most likely threatened to tell everyone what he was doing if he didn't stop. And that is believed to be the argument that caused Paul to storm out only to return late at night with an axe to wipe out his entire family. It was said that he started with his wife, blunging her to death with the axe before smashing the brains of his children. And when the police learned about this sexual abuse allegation, they took a deeper look at the body of the 13 years old girl that had been murdered only to discover that she had been defiled right before she was killed or most likely right after she was killed because when the police did their calculation they suspected that Paul might have spent the night with the dead bodies of his family before turning himself in the next morning which invariably means that there is a chance that after killing his entire family he went on to have carnal knowledge with the dead body of his 13 year old daughter. Now neighbors also pointed out that Millicent had seen her death coming. I'm guessing it's still the same friend whom she had entrusted with the information of the abuse going on in her house that still made this revelation. In an article I read, it was said that Millicent saw her death coming. She had told her neighbors that they shouldn't cry for her if her husband kills her. This is weeks before this tragedy happened. Paul himself is not exactly the community favorite. Everyone kind of figured he was a ticking time bomb. They just didn't think his explosion would go this far. According to the neighbors, he sold weed for a living. He sold drugs for a living, illegal drugs. And then he was also a heavy drinker and a very heavy smoker too. Sometimes they said when they greet him, he doesn't respond and so many people in the community stopped greeting him. And some people are of the opinion that his heavy consumption of these illegal drugs that he sells for a living might have played a role in this tragedy. Even though I personally don't believe that, I feel like with or without being a heavy drinker or a heavy smoker, he would have still done what he did. The allegations of defiling his 13 years old daughter is strong enough to push a man to do that kind of thing. This is not the first time we are seeing something like this. Some neighbors however pointed out that they didn't see the couple fight but some were aware that Millicent was in an abusive marriage and that she only stayed in the marriage because of the children. Millicent was said to have had three kids before he met Paul and that the last child, the one year old child that was killed, might just be the only biological child of Paul with Millicent. And I think maybe this is what prompted him to keep abusing his 13 years old stepdaughter, thinking it was alright, thinking since that she isn't blood related, it's not a problem. So as it stands now, Paul has been arrested, he has been taken to court 
although currently his mental and physical health is being examined as directed by the court, there is no doubt that this man will face the full extent of the law. But my biggest fear in this story is that he might blame it on the alcohol or the drugs that he takes. However, we will just have to watch and see how this story unfolds. Don't forget to like this video and let me know your thoughts on this story. And if you haven't subscribed, please do well to subscribe, turn on your notification button so whenever there is a new video, you will get notified. But before we go, let me know your thoughts on this story. Do you think Paul will get away with this if he blames it on the alcohol and the drugs? Or do you think he's done for? And also let me know what you think about Millicent knowing that she is in an abusive marriage and still choosing to stay all because of the children. Do you think she should have left? Let me know what you think. Thank you.